So let's start um, our window and let's upload the data. Maybe that you already have them, because I think, no, I'm not sure if we already use them. Yes, we already use them, I think, for another exercise. But anyway, let's assume that we don't have them and let's upload them. I think we use the same data set for computing the flow duration curve, so maybe that you already have the series with the data. I assume that you don't, and therefore I rapidly upload it. And uh, if you click here on my website, you get uh, the data which were uploaded. Let me click on it. Uh, it's a zip file, so let me extract the data from the zip file. Okay, here it is, and first of all, let me see if there are headings, something that I need to skip. If I look at the file, you see that indeed there are four lines to skip. Let's uh, read what is written here. A average daily river flows for the polymer Pontelagoscuro data in cubic meters per second. Observation period is from January 1st, 1920 to December 31st, 2009, so eight years. Data observed on Feb 29 have been removed. You know, it's, uh, Feb 29th is always a problem because when you have to extract the annual maxima, it makes a little bit of confusion. Uh, if you have uh, uh, one year uh, every four, that is longer. So I removed it. Okay, so let's upload this data and uh, let me open the R window. Here it is. Sorry, let me change. The font in order to make oh, sorry to make it more readable. Just one second. Let me bring it at uh, twenty. Yeah. Okay. Let me clear the screen. Here we are. And. Uh, now, let's upload it. Let's call the series forever. It's equal to scan and uh, file name. Here it is. Uh, I have to skip four lines. Okay, that's fine. It should be fine because let me see if uh, I make uh, I divide the length of the series by 365. I'm just checking that, yeah, it's 90 years. <coughs> okay, good. So, first of all, I said that we should uh, compute the probability density of this time series. So, let me try to summarize what we have to do. First of all, what is the probability density? It is, uh, uh, we define it in this way, fx is equal to the limit for delta x tending to zero and n tending to infinity of the number of uh, occurrences such that x minus delta x less or equal than capital S less or equal than x plus delta x. So we have to compute the number of uh, observations that are included for varying x in an interval, in a small interval around x itself. And then we have to divide this by n and by delta x. So, what does this mean? That in my time series, which counts 32,850 numbers, for varying 
values of x of the river flow. So I have to subdivide the river flow, the range of the river flows in intervals. And for each one of these intervals, I have to count how many observations are falling into it. This is this lowercase n. And then I divide this lowercase n by def2850 and the delta x that I selected. And then I have to take care of taking a capital N very large. It is sufficiently large in our case. And I have to take care of taking delta x small. OK, so let's try to compute this. What I am expecting, what I am expecting, if I put uh, the probability density here, probably you cannot see, not every one of you can uh, uh, read here, but it's uh, uh, fx, uh, uh, solo secondo, grazie. It's the probability density. And here I put the river flow. What I am expecting is something like this. First of all, it starts from zero, no negative values, no probability density for negative values, because negative values are impossible. So I'm expecting to find something like this. Not symmetric, because I expect what is called a long tail on the right. Because, uh, you know, and we have very large values of river flows on the right, while on the left we are limited to zero. So I am expecting a shorter tail on the left than on the right. This is what I am expecting. OK, so let's uh, suspend for taking your opinions. I stop the camera.